as we continue to roll on in this 2021 edition of the U.S. Open here for USA Archery, which wraps up the USA Archery season. Yes, it does. It'll give, we'll give our national rankings. So we'll know who's on the World Cup team for next year. It does finish up a lot of stuff at the end of this tournament. Coaches coming on to the field of play for our finalists in the compound senior men's division. And each one of the archers that are coming up, these are their wives. So their wives in the coaching box, Rio. Yeah, what they're... kind of advice you're, the wives are going to be yelling at the husbands in this one? Yeah, maybe uh, maybe they don't have to tell them to clean the house. Who knows? <laughs> so as we bring our two archers onto the field of play, right part of your screen with the dart and jersey on is none other than Jimmy Lutz out of Wisconsin, our number two qualifier. And standing next to him, as tall as you like it, with the Hoyt jersey on, is Big Cat, Steve Anderson, our number four qualifier. Each one of these archers, Rio, having a difficult go at it. it. Wasn't an easy romp. As a matter of fact, we got to the match before this one, and these archers, in their to get to the gold medal match, each one of them had to shoot a single arrow elimination arrow. Yeah, it, they both came up with high scores, and when they walked up there, they had to shoot one arrow closest to center, which just like we've seen in the wind, can mean a lot of different things. So, but they both were able to pull it off and get here, and it's it's a different way to break a tie. I mean, for sure, it's a pressure, nerve-wracking thing. In the bronze medal match that happened earlier, it was Sean Vincent versus Braden Galantine. Sean Vincent winning in a closest to the center shoot-off. Yeah. So congratulations to Sean Vincent, who was also our 137th U.S. national target champion. That happened the first two days we were at this event. As for Jimmy Lutz, he's going to start us off. And that nice, easy release by Jimmy Lutz sends yep. it right where it needs to go. We got two guys shooting totally different styles. Steve's a get into it and pull. And Jimmy is a get up there, aim, and execute. Like, set it off. Let's take it. <laughs> 50 meters downrange, 80 centimeter target face, which means yeah. that that 10 ring is 8 centimeters, which is about what size, real? Uh, it's about the size. Uh, I'm trying to think of a good reference for it. Maybe just a Major League Baseball. Baseball. Mm -hmm. You know, just a regular Little League Baseball in that size, right in yeah, that area. Right around there. A little, little yeah. smaller than that. But yeah, but pretty close. <laughs> Boy, Jim, when you get in Jimmy Lutz, like that close, how casual do you like that shot? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I can never do that, but he's very impressive with it. And oh. again, well, we got two 30s here oh to start off the gate. So oh now boy. it now just became a four-end match. Yep. Yeah. Not really. I mean, that's that's exactly what it is. <laughs> Five ends. If you're new to archery, when you shoot a set of arrows, determine set number of arrows, yep. and then that's it. You go down, score, and pull. That's called an end. And yep. so for this particular tournament, we have three arrows per end, five ends, 15 arrows total to decide. The winner of the world record in competition like this is definitely 150 points. And how many X's, Rio? Do you remember? 12. 12. And who set that world record, Rio? Do you that remember? would be mine. Oh, that's your record, <laughs> right? Would okay. Be mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, Can't uh, even imagine what shooting 12 X's for competition, you know, to, to either win a medal or was that was that to advance in single it round? Was, yeah, to advance. In fact, uh, I got to the last end. I had a still a clean score on tens, mm -hmm. and I pulled up, shoot my first arrow in the X ring, and I'm like, oh, I now have 11 because the old world record was 10. Mm -hmm. And uh, I went, all right. So I pull up to shoot the second one. I'm like, make sure you don't miss the 10. <laughs> Instead of thinking good, strong execution, and I almost did miss the 10. And Yeesh. I got mad at myself and said, keep doing what you've been doing. And I put the last one in, so I ended up with 150 with 12. Amazing. And so it was kind of funny, too, besides that point. I picked up the phone and called my wife back home and said, hey, I set the world record. She's like, oh, cool, who had it before? And I said, I had it at 150 with 10. And she's like, well, you already had it. Yeah, like what difference? Yeah, she didn't care. What are you doing waking me up? <laughs> Scoring in number two of five, because they tied. Jimmy Lutz, yeah. who start us off, will continue. Watch that right thumb of Jimmy. Yeah. A lot of archers Listen. will say he's a puncher. Yeah, and he'll tell you he is. There is no question. He tells you, I take it. And so. Ooh, the 
when just picked up on Steve. Oh, and he didn't like that when he shot no. it. You could see the look. He knew it was right when it broke. That was just an all of a sudden gust. And sometimes with archers at this level, that can, that's all it takes. And and another part to it out here on this finals field, they have 20 seconds to shoot their arrow. Mm -hmm. So you're stuck with what you get in that 20 seconds, not like what's out. Like, where's it? Looking close. Oh, yeah. He's, that one's got him mad. I mean, you can see there was a mm -hmm. lot. That shot was not what his first three were. No, and, and the hold, too, wasn't as yeah. solid. Jimmy just Dang. draining it. Just as cool, calm, and collective and, as you like it. And a hard part in our division and, and seeing this and stuff is, like, when you see a guy on like Jimmy is right now, you know you can't miss. So you mm -hmm. get more frustrated when you miss because yep. you're like, man, I just can't give him anything, and it is, so. So it looks like it's going to be a two-point advantage for Lutz. I mean, the win, that's usually not a lot, but Jimmy is shooting so good right now, two points could be a mile. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, you know, there is, at the moment, a steady breeze going from right to left down by the target. But if you actually go back in the field of play, on the right-hand side of where the shooters are is a nice size grandstand. So some of the flags closest to the grandstand aren't moving as much as the others. And so it's just, this is just uh, an incredible way to be able to shoot. When you're looking down at those flags down range, you've got to be mindful to look at the other flags and how they're flying as well, because sometimes you can get caught in that trap. Don't mm -hmm. you think, Rio? Oh, yeah. Of just what's going down yeah. at the target. But this arrow's got 50 meters to fly. Well, the nice, the one different part versus earlier, we had 70 meters, so they were past the grandstand. 50 meters, you're usually not past as many grandstands. I mean, there is a little bit there, but not as much. So you're usually most the way where you're determined when it gets there. So that is one saving grace on the whole thing. And it does look like some, I mean, you can see the banners in front on the right. I mean, you can see them on the right over there. They're not moving much at all because the grandstands have stopped it. Mm -hmm. We're down at the flag. You can see the flags on the target, and they're moving a lot. And uh, the windsock doesn't move much because it's behind the grandstand. But now Steve gets a chance to shoot first because he is trailing. And so that'll give a – and he won't be happy with that. Out to the right for Steve after starting off with a 30. And two is a 28. Lutz on a clean run right now. He's getting after Rio's – trying to get after Rio's world record. And the wind again picks up for Steve out of the clear blue sky. Look at it, moving him around. Man, he is just having that kind of luck. And at you the can moment. see him shake his head. He knows it. He knows. Jimmy had a little bit there with putting the air on his rest, but But he actually funny is Jimmy's borrowed a release from somebody today. He sure has. Shooting Crystal Govin's release, so Yeah, Crystal Govin who back in two thousand fifteen was number two compound woman shooter in the world. Went after an Olympic dream because of COVID, because pushing that an extra year. She decided to transition back to compound, so she yeah. had her release here. Yeah. And now Jimmy Lutz, who, would you say at the beginning of the season, Jimmy Lutz kind of surprised, I think, the archery world and, and announced that he was with Dart and Archery, who's making a huge comeback in, in competition archery? Yeah, I, I'm, he made a big, it was a big surprise because Dart had never really supported an archer or anything in that manner. And so to see that, I mean, there was kind of certain people had whims that it was going on and knew, but that was a big thing. And he's he's done really well with that bow this year. Has I mean, he has yep. shot really well with it. And so it's a good deal for them. Good deal for him and, and it brings their, gives their brand a little validity to it. You know what I mean? 100%, mm -hmm. love the riser he has too. Yeah, they did that up special for him for the world championships. Mm -hmm. And Jimmy will be the defending world champion. He certainly will. And Lutz came on this on the scene screaming no. virtually out of nowhere and became world champion. And people were no. scrambling to find out who's Jimmy Lutz. Yeah, yeah. Now a household name. Yeah, he went to the, his first World Cup and won it, and then went to the World Champs and won it. And Since then, has been married. Now to his wife, Danelle, who's in the coach's box. They're getting along two months. So newlywed yeah. Jimmy Lutz. As Danelle said, we're piling the months together. Yeah. Like, you sure are. Yep, for sure. With a lot of future ahead of you. Jimmy Lutz at the ripe old age of 23 out of Montello, Wisconsin. Steve Anderson originally from West Jordan, Utah, now in the Salt Lake City area. 
Yeah, you can just kind of see at this point the frustration in Steve's face. He's just sending yeah. him down range. Not conceding yet, but it's yeah. it's I mean, at that point. He had a couple really bad. <laughs> Think about it. I mean, he's down six points. That's a mile in our division. A 100%. mile. Yeah. And especially with Jimmy shooting the way he's shooting. It's just, it's just a, it's a hard thing to pick up because you know where you're heading. It's, oh. Ooh, all right, so. The ooh birds come out. Yeah. As, not, that, not that that's bad, but he was shooting so good. Everybody wants to see the 150. Yeah, and you can, you can hear the crowd. And he's even giggling. Yeah, Jimmy knew as soon as the crowd said it. So Rio's world record remains safe for the time being. And Steve and Anderson answers with the 10. Yeah, and Linda's back there giggling. She knows. She knows. Linda's been through it all Jimmy throws well. it back in there. Yeah. Yeah, and only has four arrows outside the X-ring. Uh, One yeah, of them's yeah. a nine. Yeah. It's a, it's a tall, I mean. By the way, congratulations to Linda Ochoa Anderson and Steve Anderson here in USA Archery for this particular event. They had mixed team rounds that happened yeah. Thursday evening, and it was the first time that Linda and Steve ever shot together, and they were able to capture the gold medal. Yeah, that was really cool. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that they had never shot a mixed team together, and Linda said, yeah, it was the first time, so I thought that was a really cool thing. Scores being looked at to confirm what we see. A couple of X's and then that just errant nine, low left. Now, Rio, looking at that target right there, are there times as an archer when you miss that 10 ring? And we're talking specifically about how competitive and how incredibly mm -hmm. focused and, you know, compound senior men is. Yeah. If you're Jimmy Lutz, do you say, yep, that's where it happens to me sometimes is low left? Or do, you know, archers at your level tend to miss at, at random places? Or is it normally a pattern that we see? Sometimes. Depends on the bow and the setup. I've had some bows that miss in certain places. I've had some that just, it's all over. And I've had some that just, I feel like, don't miss. So it just depends on what your setup is. And, and like say, sometimes the wind will make it all over. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just depends on how you can be able to aim. But a lot of times when it's you're being able to aim and you shoot, there's a lot of directions they can go that you're like, ah, repeat. It's the <laughs> same. Like, it just is. It has that weakness between you and it as to where your bad shots are going to go. Here we are, final in the competition for the Compound Senior Men at the 2021 20, U.S. Open. Jimmy Lutz leads Steve Anderson 119 to 113, so sitting on six points. Anderson's going to need three in the middle like that, and so, Lutz is going to have to start ripping them so around like, the target. Like we talked about Alexis earlier, had to hold gold. Jimmy just got to hold the A ring. Mm -hmm. And so that makes it kind of one of them things. It's like, man, I can relax and just put them in the middle. And so, and again, Steve, now you, you got to go up there and finish when you're like, yeah, I don't. But he's he, doing it. He's stepping yeah, up. I mean, is. I'll give it up. He didn't give up. He's nope. just stepping up there, just putting him in the middle and doing a good job. I'm telling you, I'm not making excuses for Steve Anderson, but he was subject to another X. He was subject to two gusts of wind that were just unlucky. No, ag agreed. And that is, like I said, the 20 seconds can totally determine a match. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, and I've had guys say, well, that's part of the game. And, and it is part of the game. But it's tough when it's you that gets that those gusts that are a little rougher. But Jimmy shot him amazing. Who's to say if he doesn't have them gusts that, you know. <laughs> well, Jimmy so. just holds gold for good measure, throws one in the nine ring. And those two archers congratulate themselves. A, Really a hallmark of archery is yeah. definitely sportsmanship. That's why parents love the sport of archery. Yeah, and I'll say that's one of the cool things myself. I mean, it's like a family. Mm -hmm. If a guy has something go wrong, he'll make sure and take care of the other guy for the most part. I mean, it's, uh, it's an amazing culture and, and group that's out here. So as we wait for the official scores to come back, it looks like Jimmy Lutz is going to be your 2021 U.S. Open winner with 148 points scored and a ton of X's, by the way. Yeah. I mean. One, two, three, four, five. That weren't ten X's. And look, I know that you at home who are watching can't see the broadcast booth and what exactly is going on. But uh, without question, Real Wild was sitting here biting his nails, nervous that Jimmy Lutz was getting ready to beat his 12X 150 <laughs> world record. Jimmy, 
that didn't happen, but you were the champion, and what shooting. I mean, man, you were just fine in the middle. Congratulations. How was it? Thank you. Um, it was good. Uh, a little bit windy out there, but nothing too crazy. But Were you able to just uh, hold on, and they go where, were they going where they were breaking? Yeah, I, I basically just aimed in the middle, and as long as my bow arm didn't sway to the left, I was fine. Okay, and, and really, I mean, the, the way that this whole thing opened up, it's, it opened up 30 points to 30. Did you think it was going to be more of a, of a fist fight coming down to the end? Uh, yeah, I mean, I always back that with Steve. Um, I, I know he didn't shoot as good as he should have or could have, but um, I knew it was going to be a good match, but it didn't end up the way we both thought, but I'm still happy. But Good, I'm glad because you, you shot an outstanding round. Congratulations. Jimmy Lutz, 2021 U.S. Open champion. Go stand on the top of the box and enjoy the day, Jimmy. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. All right. Impressive match. And this is what I think makes outdoor archery so exciting, Rio, yeah. is the elements when you throw in the, the different lighting conditions with clouds, bright sun, you throw yeah. in, I mean, even the field of play. The one thing about this, this area here, we've had so much rain here at Dory Park, is that the footing was soft. It was almost like pudding, yeah. like you were standing in pudding at times. Yeah, for sure. It's it's from the wind blowing, the clouds coming in and out, and everything else. So it's a different thing for sure. All right, so Steve Anderson just walked by the booth and gave us the typical Steve Anderson reaction to silver medal, which is... Psst. Yeah, not too happy. <laughs> and I mean, I can get it. He shot good today. And to walk out here and put that performance on that he knows he's w capable of way better. It just it, it can be frustrating at times.